Welcome to the Nitro Engine Pull Starter Usage and Replacement segment of the Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How To Video Series. I'm Matt LeMay, and in this segment, we'll discuss how to properly use your pull starter on your Red Cat Racing Nitro vehicle. I'll also show you how to replace the stock pull starter with the optional e -Star electric starter system from Red Cat Racing. Pull starters are a convenient way to start nitro-powered RC vehicles, but if not used properly, can quickly end a day of bashing. Now, I know most of you have pulled the starter cord on a lawnmower or gas trimmer, got into a firm stance, and, and gave the cord a good yank. Well, <laughs> that is exactly what we don't want to do when starting our Red Cat Racing Nitro vehicle. See, pull start systems on Nitro RC vehicles are user friendly and require much less elbow grease than their larger yard equipment counterparts. A nitro engine pull starter has a throw of approximately 10 inches. Now pulling beyond this point can damage the internal spring or pull cord itself. If this happens, you'll need to replace the pull starter. An easy way to ensure you don't over pull the starter cord is pull towards your chest. Over pulling will result in punching yourself, which may be slightly awkward, but you'll adjust to the motion and help keep you from breaking your pull starter. Call it the pull starter failsafe. Let's review. Quick short pulls of 10 inches or less and pull towards your chest. Following these guidelines will help ensure a long lasting pull starter. If you've driven nitro vehicles very long, you know the pull starter can be a little tiring with lots of use. This is more noticeable among beginners, well, because an improperly tuned engine is more difficult to start. Red Cat Racing offers a way to keep every bit of enjoyment in the hobby with the optional Red Cat Racing E-Star electric starter system. This kit includes everything needed to easily turn over your nitro engine. Inside the box, you'll find two backing plates with drive gears, the start shaft, handheld electric starter, six cell starter battery, battery charger, and instruction sheet. This electric starter kit is compatible with 16, 18, 21, and .28 Red Cat Racing Nitro engines. To buy one of these e-start systems, go to www.redcatracing.com and type starter in the search box. I've laid my Red Cat Racing pit mat onto my work area, and I've also put down a few parts mats to help organize small parts and screws while I'm working. There's nothing worse than spending an hour looking for misplaced screws, and these are going to keep me from having to do that. To install the Red Cat Racing E-Start electric starter system, you must first remove the engine. Start by removing the fuel lines from the tuned pipe and the carburetor. Now remove the small set screw at the end of the tuned pipe. You can now remove the four motor mount screws on the underside of the chassis to remove the engine. There are four Phillips head screws securing the pull starter. Remove these screws and the pull start mechanism being careful to cover and keep the tightly wound spring from launching the spool across the work area. Now wrap a small zip tie around the pull start mechanism to keep it together. Be sure the one-way bearing remains on the crankshaft. Add a small amount of grease to the gears inside the new starting plate and install the plate aligning the drive gear for easy access with the starter shaft. Add a small amount of blue medium strength thread lock to the four screws included with the electric starter system and tighten it all down. Check operation of the Red Cat E-Start electric starter system by first loosening the glow plug. Now, if you don't have a T-wrench like this one, you can get the optional Red Cat Racing Nitro starter kit, which includes tools you will most definitely use on an ongoing basis, like these T-wrenches, screwdrivers, fuel bottle, rechargeable glow igniter, and glow igniter charger. Go to www.redcatracing.com for more details. 
Now, removing the glow plug reduces compression and puts less strain on the starter just in case something was not aligned properly. Make sure the engine is spinning freely with no binding. If all is good, retighten the glow plug and install the engine back into the vehicle. Make sure the gear mesh is set properly. A helpful tip is to use a piece of paper between the gears while rotating them to help achieve the correct gap. Make sure the clutch bell and spur gears have a small amount of play between them. You want just enough play to relieve any pressure or binding between gears. If the gears are too tight, this can cause excess strain on the motor and also wear out the clutch bearing prematurely. If the gears are too loose, well, it can wear out the teeth resulting in stripped gears. Be sure to add a small drop of blue medium strength thread lock to the engine mount screws to ensure they remain tight. Well, this concludes the nitro engine pull starter usage and replacement segment of the Red Cat Racing Pit Stop How-To Video Series. Now, don't forget to check out our other Pit Stop How-To videos brought to you by Red Cat Racing. And for more information on the products used in this video, go to redcatracing.com. I'm Matt LeMay, reminding you to have fun and don't forget your Red Cat.